As part of the ASAR project, in October 2016, stakeholders from Bangalore's government, civil society, and private and academic sectors were brought together at the Indian Institute for Human Settlements, Bangalore City Campus, to think about Bangalore's water future. Here participants learned about Transformative Scenario Planning, or TSP, which is an approach used to bring together stakeholders from diverse and often conflicting perspectives to discuss a complex issue. Generally, the issue is considered unacceptable or unsustainable by most, and it cannot be transformed unilaterally, directly, or immediately. To address this, the TSP process helps participants to imagine and develop a range of potential futures that could come from taking different paths to dealing with this issue. The TSP process is not linear, but instead follows a detour known as the U process, which includes five steps. The first step involves convening people from across the system who all want to influence the system's future. In step two, participants build a shared understanding of what is happening in the system. Using different tools, such as the cynics and believers exercise, paired walks and chats, and by understanding different ways of communicating and relating to one another, this process helps people to go beyond their own established views and to see the issue with fresh eyes. It requires them to see not just their own part of the system, but more of the whole system. It requires them to open up, inquire, and learn. In step three, the team constructs a set of scenarios about what could happen in and around their system. To be useful, the scenarios must be relevant, challenging, plausible, and clear. Once participants had brainstormed the key uncertainties and driving forces that influence the future of Bangalore's water, they selected the two most influential driving forces, namely population growth and water availability. These driving forces were then used to build four possible future stories revolving around stable versus exponential population growth and low versus high water availability. The scenarios were built in an interactive, iterative way and involved the use of Lego, the formulation of newspaper headlines, small group work and plenary feedback. Each scenario was given a name and described a set of possible events unfolding around Bangalore's water future from now until the 2030s. In step four of the TSP, the team reflects on what the scenarios tell them about what they can and must do to address the issue in question. This might mean adapting to things they can't influence or taking action to improve the things they can influence, either jointly as a group or separately as individuals. In this step, the team crystallizes their intentions. In step five, working with one another and with others from across the system, the team carries out these intentions to transform the issue. However, as it's not always possible to plan these actions in advance, this step is not always included in the TSP process. By taking part in a TSP, the scenario team can potentially undergo a number of transformations. Their understanding of the system can change. A common shared language can be developed. Relationships can be transformed and trust and empathy can be built. Through these changes, new intentions can be crystallized. And as a consequence, new actions can arise that can transform the entire system 